This is David Sig with OffGridLiving.com. The most important thing you want to take away from this lesson is air sealing your attic can have a major effect on your comfort as well as your utility bill. The basement and the attic are some of the biggest areas of heat losses. And again, this video isn't meant to cover all aspects. Refer to the PDF downloads for more details. There's also an excellent PDF download from the Building Science that covers even more detail. Every house is different, and it's impossible to cover every circumstance you might encounter, so this video will cover the general areas most houses need attention to. In general, major areas you'll want to look at are chimney and roof penetration points, bath and kitchen fans, plumbing outlets, openings for wiring, recessed lighting, attic stairways and access doors. First, go up into your attic with a flashlight and do a quick assessment of what you're facing. Concentrate on the big holes first. Don't worry about finding and sealing every single little hole in your attic. Your biggest savings will come from plugging the large holes. Check your roof penetration points. This might be a chimney or plumbing vents. Once in the attic, locate the areas where air leakage is likely to be greatest, where walls, inner and outer, meet the attic floor, drop soffits, drop ceiling areas, and behind or under attic knee walls. Look for dirty insulation, which is evidence of air moving through it. Drop soffits may be filled or covered with insulation and hard to see, so you'll need to push back the insulation and scoop it out of the soffits. So we'll place the insulation back over the soffit once the stud cavities have been plugged and the soffits covered. Also, look for areas where the insulation has darkened. This is the result of filtering dusty air from the house. Second, you'll need to pull away the insulation and see what you're dealing with. Now you're looking for ceiling penetrations into the attic, such as bath and kitchen fans, plumbing, and recessed lighting fixtures. These areas are fairly straightforward. Simply caulk them with silicone as you've been doing in other places. I'll see you in the next video.